Good evening and welcome to ISTV Evening News. First the headlines. Social Welfare Minister N. Loken hands over rescued children to their parents. Union Minister of State Salman Khurshid lays foundation stone for ITI at Lirong Myren Kul and skeleton of sacrificial elephant found at Kangla. <laughs> Now the news in detail. 16 children including 9 girls who were rescued by the Tamil Nadu government from trafficking were today handed over to their respective parents by the Social Welfare Minister N. Loken Singh. The children were brought back home yesterday by a team of officers of State Social Welfare Department. The 16 children were between the age of 5 to 13 years. Soon after they were brought to Imphal, doctors at JN hospitals conducted medical examinations and found most of them suffering from severe skin diseases. They were later kept at Children Observatory Home Takel Pat, run by State Social Welfare Department. Authorities of the Social Welfare Department are silent on the question of whether the children were sexually harassed or not. Motives behind their wrongful confinement at rich children home, Mongapir, Chennai, are not yet known. Members of the Taubal Children Welfare Committee who brought back the children said the children were taken by a person called Rakesh of Vishnupur district on the pretext of providing them better education on May last year. They were then kept at rich children home, Mongapir, at Chennai. The rescued children were narrating while narrating their woeful experience set, they were often tortured and harassed by the owner of the home they were staying. Thirteen-year-old boy who was among the trafficked children said he was forced to work in a brick field and was provided rotten food. Another twelve-year-old boy said he was treated as a servant by the owner. He said a girl was sometimes called to massage the owner during night time. The children mostly from Vishnupur district were reportedly taken by one Rakesh of Vishnupur Laurembam. Rakesh along with three other persons were reportedly arrested by the Chennai police. However, they were later released on bail. Men suspect Emmanuel and Christopher of Chennai were absconding. A girl who was earlier rescued and brought back home was reported to have been sexually harassed at children's home where they were kept. Parents of the children said they sent their children as they were convinced of providing better education. He said as they saw no hopes in the government schools besides the frequent bans and blockets, they felt it was better to send them to Chennai if better education were provided. Director of the Social Welfare K. Sarat Kumar Sarma appealed the people to be aware of child trafficking. He said, the state social welfare department is doing every possible way to stop child trafficking, but unless people extend support, it would be difficult for the department to check the problem. Any of the citizens, any of the people, or any, whether maybe police, whether maybe uh, local leaders or anything, if you happen to come across a group of children going outside or intend to go to the outside uh, near the airport or near the bus stand or near the nearest railway station of Jiribam, come across that, kindly inform to the concern of our district social welfare officers. Union Minister Salman Kursid said his ministry will give special attention to the development of minority of the country, especially in Manipur. Besides the package, various other developmental works will also be taken up soon. I would like to appeal and also I would like to request let us not allow any type of disturbance from any shuttle because this will belong to the Lilong Assembly Conspiracy. Union Minister Salman Kursid said his ministry will give special attention to the development of minority of the country, especially in Manipur. Besides the package, various other developmental works will also be taken up soon. These are development, area development programs. They are not programs for Hindus and Muslims and Buddhists and Sikhs. These are programs that are for particular areas. Lilong will develop. The skeleton of an elephant which could have been sacrificed in the ritual foundation laying of Uttra Sanglen in Kangla was discovered today by men engaged in reconstruction of the southern wall of Uttra Sanglen. 
restoration of Kangla Utra is being taken under the National Council of Museum and Monument. Laborers came across a skeletal while digging foundation for the wall. Most parts of the two tusks have been broken by the laborers. However, the archaeological department has promptly acted to save the skeleton and to preserve the head portion. The head of the elephant was facing south. The remains of the body are still inside the foundation. According to Narzel Tongbum, lecturer, geology department, Manipur College, the elephant might have been buried during the reign of Maidingu Sanabi Kiamba, who ruled Manipur from 1467 to 1508 or before. Private School Welfare Association today appealed to guardians and parents to amicably settle the matter over payment of fees for the period during which schools were closed due to the class boycott agitation by three student organizations. Advisor of the private school body and Tomba during a press conference appealed to the guardians to amicably solve the matter through dialogue instead of going to the consumer's court. President of the association M. Pravir said the private school teachers solely depend on the fee payment of the students. With prices of essential commodities skyrocketed, it is time that the private school authority and the guardians sit together and settle the matter. Kindly come to the association and to kindly come to the negotiation table so that these kind of problems do not pursue longer. Employees of many departments including Tribal Development, Fisheries and Imphal West DC office stage demonstration in their respective office complexes in Lumfell Park as part of the cease work launched by JC of Amtuk and Amjiro. Speaking to the ISTV News, a JC member said it is high time the government took initiatives to solve the problems of the employees. At least 2,200 children in Manipur are infected with HIV AIDS. Max Technical Director Dr. Pramod said the government has to report on the HIV AIDS infected children while releasing a documentary video entitled Thawai, Life on Giving Right to Education to the HIV AIDS Infected Children at MNP Plus Office at Yai School today. He said, 35% of HIV AIDS infected women are in reproductive age. However, the rate of death of infected persons has come down and it is a positive trend in Manipur. The two bodies which have been lying in the Reims morgue have been identified as that of 29-year-old Muhammad Dalifan of Thawbal Kaibungshana Seki Lerak and 20-year-old Ningombam Boinao Elias Jiten of Thawbal Lechangtem. Mohammad Dalifan was killed by security forces on February 3 near Tongjiao and Komnao under Waikong police station. His family says he was innocent. A former KCP member, he surrendered to the Assam Rifles. He was a rickshaw puller and survived by his wife and two children. Boinao was also a former KCP cadre who surrendered to Assam Rifles stationed at Yaripok about two years ago. Family sources say he left home on the 5th of this month for Assam Rifles camp at Yaripok after attending the marriage ceremony of his elder brother. It may be recalled that Assam Rifles claimed that one 9mm pistol was recovered from him. We have come to the end of today's news, but before we end the headlines once more. Social Welfare Minister N. Loken hands over rescued children to their parents. Union Minister of State Salman Khurshid lays foundation stone for ITI at Lirong Maren Kul and skeleton of sacrificial elephant found at Kangla. That's all for today. Repeat telecasts of ISTV Evening News will be available at 9.45 p.m. on ISTV Channel 2 and 7.45 a.m. on the next morning at ISTV Channel 1. Thanks for being with us and good night. Good night.